21-year-old says the extensive mental health treatment she's received over the years has taught her to not be a danger to herself or to others. But the two doctors who testified today disagreed with her. It was nearly 10 years ago that 12-year-olds Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire stabbed their middle school classmate nearly to death in Waukesha. They said it was to please the fictional character Slenderman. State versus Morgan E. Geyser. Geyser was sentenced to 40 years of mental institutional care, but says she's improved enough to be safely released. But doctors who examined her recently aren't so sure. It's hard to predict without having a better understanding of that past history of violence. It's hard to predict the future. Documents filed in the case indicate Geyser is no longer diagnosed with schizophrenia, rather PTSD and anxiety disorders. However, two doctors testified they're concerned with Geyser's recent exams. We have issues with being able to reliably trust her own self-appraisal. We've learned Geyser now says she made up many of the delusions she claimed to be having in the years following the Slender Man attack because she didn't want to return home, she says, because of abuse at the hands of her father. The conundrum occurred in the fall of 2022 when Ms. Geyser told her treating psychiatrist that she had never heretofore suffered from psychotic symptoms, but rather that she was um, <clears throat> faking those. Both doctors say Geyser isn't ready for release. It's my opinion to a reasonable degree of professional certainty that she currently presents a significant risk of bodily harm to herself or others if conditionally released. When pressed to estimate number of months, I would estimate six to 12 months. I know she's not ready now. So Nick, how many doctors in all examine her? We, we know this hearing on her conditional release continues tomorrow. Right, three examined her and all two testified today. Again, you heard them both say they didn't think she should be released. But the third doctor we expect to hear from tomorrow, he was suggested by Geyser's attorney, Tony Cotton. So he may, in fact, have a different opinion. We will, of course, be here tomorrow and tell you what happens. Follow up on that. Nick Bohr reporting live in Waukesha. Thank you. And Geyser's partner in the Slender Man stabbing, Anissa Wire, was granted her conditional release in 2021.